morning, 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 morning. This is a Mercy Podcast. Code red, code red, hold on, code red, here we are. Pick up your iPads, your cell phones, and have me and listen to Uncle the Podcast. Watch out. If you're sitting down for this, or if you're standing up, you better get ready for this, because it's going to hit the air, eardrums. Uncle the Podcast. To Uncle the Broadcast. My name is Aaron. I'm the nephew-in-law. Here with me is the star of the show, Uncle. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. 300 and 05. That's right. Is the message. 305? That's 305 is a uh, uh, answer tonight. That's where we're at, everybody. Where we're at. Episode so, number 305. Uncle the Podcast, live every Sunday night on Ochili.com. Uh, we start at 11 p.m. Eastern. Oh, and let's we, get those calls running there, Chuck. Get them rolling. Let's roll them out. All right. So right now, I know this, Uncle. Uh, weird night. We've got one listener in Australia, and everybody else is in America tonight. Hmm. Wow. Everybody oh. else is in America. So they had it all last week, so they don't want to listen tonight. I guess we were, we were all yeah, over the world last sense. week. Yeah. <laughs> he scared off the international listeners. The international last week. Ant- <laughs> listeners. That's exactly what he said. We did a fine job of that, Uncle. Yeah, I don't know who you had. You guess it. I want you to take my guess away. Well, I, I, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> excuse, excuse. Here in the go. previous hour, yeah, I had a guest. Hour. I know. Uh, took him, took my guess away from the uh, people, other people. Uh, the maybe. KKK took your guest away, Uncle. I'm yeah, sorry. that's a mistake. It wasn't, it wasn't me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe yeah. it was Uncle screaming about hanging people last week. At, uh, <laughs> that, you know, uh, might have been that, or uh, <laughs> I don't know what it was. There are a couple uh, of things that might have scared a couple people off, yeah, but yeah, we yeah. we, we don't worry about that, yeah. Uncle. We just. Let it all hang out on this. Have show. you listened to my uh, shows yet, J- J- Chuck? I put some more out for you to listen. Oh, what oh, on uh, Instagram heard. and stuff? Yeah, I haven't been over to Instagram this week at all. I was trying to catch up to everything, and uh, finally, I'm almost caught up. So, <laughs> was, well, look and listen to that because I put uh, one on today, two on today, two, two on, on today. two on today, and. Instagram. Uncle's talking about his videos that we've been posting. Videos that we were posting. They've been going quite well. Yeah. Uh, so I was shocked at the one at the uh, at the soccer because I didn't really think it would go. And boom, lots all of, of views. a sudden, a load of views on that. Lots of views. Yeah. If you listen to that. So um, I, I was shocked to hear that because well, uh, I was. I meant to uh, say something, but I didn't mean to say it. Okay, I was recommending people go check out that uh, trip out to the uh, All You Can Eat Shrimp Joint because I wanted people to go <laughs> oh, see yeah, that. That one, well, that one yeah. I should then that should have went over. That, it should have. Sadly, that sadly, went sadly all that's the, way the video that I put the most work mm-hmm. and honestly uh, love into. Yeah, and it's gotten far less views on the view counter than these other short videos that we they, just make and, on like a whim, basically. Yeah. Less though? Far less. Far that's, less. Far that's very, really, that's very, really you, you, that's very really surprising. So more people. I thought that would be more. more you would know, think. Yes. More people are watching. Wise, yeah. Yeah. Shrimp? People go crazy for shrimp? You would have thought. Where is this place? Well, people went more for your tuna fish than they went for the, uh, Big J Sanders. Isn't that, wait, is that his name? Jay Sanders? <laughs> yeah, Big Gerald Sanders. Gerald yeah. Sanders. Sorry, not Jay Sanders. <laughs> Gerald Sanders, right. James. They went, they went crazy for your tuna fish and, uh, God help us all, uh, sauerkraut. And, uh, <laughs> you know. I, oh, you I just got to get into it, Chuck. I, I, I don't know. I, can, so. <laughs> I like sauerkraut, too, on a hot dog, on a sausage, you know, uh, but uh, tuna fish? Yeah. I ain't had one coming. I don't know what it tastes like. Put, and, and picking up from that, I put the video, one of the videos we shot and posted today was yeah. Uncle making a cheese thing. The title of the video is called Cheese the Cheese, and he's just making a cheese lunch in the microwave. Yeah, it was and I so I reposted it to Instagram. I reposted it to YouTube. And it's already nearly at two thousand views on YouTube, which is 
Quite good. <laughs> the people, I'm telling Not you, bad. Chuck, I'm telling you something. They go crazy on just my meals that I make. <laughs> uh, people on Instagram and then um, where he poses them, it's, it just absolutely go dang crazy. It's not unlike the Food Network, Uncle. Yeah, no. We're basically doing the same thing. Yeah, well, well, the network, we throw the network, their network out of the dark waters. Sorry, with Guy mine, With mine, because see how many poor people got are listening. Move over, Gordon Ramsay. Oh, got, whoever they are that's talking. That's right. All of you. All you, you celebrity know. chefs, you don't stand a chance. Because we've got yeah. a whole new take on... Uh, how, how to make a meal mm-hmm. and and people are really listening to it. They sure are. Yeah, it's exciting. So it's, yeah. it's interesting. It's somewhat discouraging to see the videos you wish would do good yeah. not. However, I will say... That's what I do, son. I will say this because we're making this content and we're experimenting. I, I keep kind of dancing around this every time we talk about this, but we're kind of like playing around, Uncle. We're putting stuff out there. And foods? Well, yeah, I guess you are with your food. You're kind of playing with your food, aren't you? Well, some, some in a way. Yeah. Sometimes. Some in a way. See, how of they... making the mixture of how to make it. Yeah. That's how I'm doing it. How are the gamer streams doing, though, when you guys play games? Are those... Uh, that is less, because I've been asking him. I wanted to play a couple yeah. of them, but we... he just haven't... Uh, They're not taking rotate along. himself okay. to move along here. Well, well, exactly, Chuck. You're you're yeah. getting at this in that the the streams we did of those didn't got limited engagement. I really yeah. enjoyed them, and people I showed up it. live that regular yeah. listeners, and that was a lot of fun. Like I, I'm still like right. to get into, okay. but I just don't. It's, my my gen. But My general know. take on this is like I really like a bunch of the stuff that we have already done. Mm-hmm. The gaming streams good. The videos like the Gerald Sanders videos very good. Um and again you could lump the merchandise into this. I think it's good. But what I want to do is keep making more of the things that appear to be getting the attention and have and that's the ability my, to be like those breakthrough moments, and I'm I'm thinking, which in food. a way, yeah, it's these short videos, which it's is my kind of short good. videos of my food. It's, that's what's doing it. it looks it's like kind we, of annoying because we're not putting much work into it, but it's also kind of good because we can make them so easy and keep making them. Maybe one of them will catch fire so much that it'll become something. But it's like your five Maybe. minute cooking show is the thing that's working. I I, I don't yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, it, it right? is. Isn't it weird? It's it doesn't it make sense. Working. I mean, uh, yeah, even though you don't like sauerkraut, Chuck, <laughs> I understand that. But but people go absolute bananas for it yeah. in Instagramming. And, and, I mean, this is crazy. And I'll say hello, Creative uh, Accidents. He's in the oh. Twitch chat room. He's also at the Ocelli.com chat room. Hello, Creative Accidents and everybody else listening. Yeah. Glad to have you here. And it's we've done a great job with everything we've done thus far. And we have a dedicated audience. The audience at Ocelli.com is the best. But I also believe that there's a way to expand this. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying. I'm, I'm really trying to put effort. And, and the reassuring thing here is that perhaps with the least effort, you can get the most returns. And that's the positive I'm taking from these bizarre videos we've been Whoa. posting. Now, it hasn't exactly happened yet. We've been getting a lot of views for what that's worth. But I, it's it's fun, and it could work, and I think it's good material. So but what with, you're yeah. saying, then, with that in mind, I'm going to try some this stuff this instead week. Instead of yeah. the games. For now. For and, now. And I'd like yeah. to return to the gaming streams. Perhaps we'll build up an audience by getting attention somehow. Oh. And then we can return to the things we really like doing and the people will be there. I don't know. And I, this might be all a pipe dream as well, oh. this whole thing. But we're Telephone. doing what we're doing. Hold on. We got a call on the ring. That's the first ring on the call. And I bet you it's Jimmy. All right, Jim. <laughs> Come on in. All right, call. Hello. Hello. You got you called it. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I know by By the way, <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about the um what is that? Um training camp. Hmm? Your NFL. training camp. You should be proud of your team right now there, Jimmy. Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions. Mm-hmm. They 
get something well, cooking. I, I, I don't want to jinx myself, but everything looks good. I mean, we should have an outstanding season. Yeah. That just is saying that. It, it should. It should be that way. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think I know how they're doing it now, though. <laughs> the people on that, I'm, just a moment, Chuck. The, the people on that are doing it this way. They're putting it day by day on each um, game, on each player. So they'll show one for one week, couple of uh, teams. And then off, and then another week, another uh, three days. So that's how they're working it. I, I'm seeing how they're working it. Mm -hmm. The training camp thing. That's how it goes. That's how it moves. So have you noticed that, Jimmy? Have you noticed that, Jimmy? Yeah. No, that's how it's working. Yeah, I, I just realized. I kind of heard the uh, that the, the head coach said that that's. I know what he's up to. I mean, I don't know. He thinks he's, he's going to be coach. pretty good. Head coach. I, I think coach? that quarterback we got from you was a good deal in the long run. In the long run. That's what we've been trying to tell you. <laughs> he will work on the long run, not the short run. In the long run. Yeah. And, 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 and time come. Time come. He'll pick it up. He's probably already got some nice uh, places how to play and 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 game thinkings. But but in the long run, Jared Goff. We're Jared Goff would be. He's doing fairly well. Yeah, yeah, hmm. yeah. yeah. We've said before. We, I I know I want to see him do good. I'd like yeah. to see Jared. Goff I think do he's good. going to. So I hope he does. Yeah. He definitely has the ability to. So yeah, it's just you know being in the right place, uh, doing the right things. I we'll see. Yeah. This I'm, I'm interested to see how the Rams do this year because I I don't even know how to predict it at this. I don't know what they're up to. Honestly, the point I just said, oh, just yeah, what's that? telling him, day by day they show a couple of training camps. Oh yeah, we haven't seen them. No. I haven't seen, I haven't even seen the Dolphins no. training camp. Guys, I see all of them. All 32 teams. Uh, I'm just saying. And, and we haven't seen half of them. So, it so in the time seen. in this whole, this coming week, we'll probably see three and then another set of three. It's three times three, six going down is how they operate the show. On the um, on the on the Netflix. Sure. And, you, and yeah, you're talking about it. the tele Television when they televise the televising. training camp. Televising, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We shall see then. I guess we might learn. That's a how we we're going to gonna probably see it. How how it works. Okay. I'm just realizing that today. I just found that out today. Can't wait we'll to see that this. one. And then they show the faces of what training camps are going to be. The quarterback. The receiver and the linebacker, they show what camp. That's how they show it. Oh, okay. That's their format. Huh? That's their format, yeah. yeah. See, have, I ain't know how they do it. Have you seen any of these televised training camps, Jimmy? Been, oh, yeah. Have you, have you seen any? Or, no, I haven't seen it. Yeah, we catch a couple because uh, oh. they do what – Sometimes they do them not far from here, like 50 miles from where I'm at. So, like, the yeah. local news will show it oh, yeah. live. You're a local. You're That's a local. cool. You're a local team, so you'll be a local person to see that. That's cool. It's like us seeing it. In the the Rams. Rams. I haven't seen. Well, we haven't seen it because they haven't caught us. Yeah, yet. and you haven't seen the Rams on the local news and here, right? I haven't seen any of them yet. But they're coming. They'll I'm be. sure they're coming. It'll be there. It'll be there. And then, of course, we'll have the preseason games. Those will be interesting. You see the new talent. That who starts does October, August. I mean, August. Like in 10th. a couple weeks. 10th. Or not even, like a week. Oh, like not oh, even. Less not than even. A, this week. This coming week. Yeah. They, okay. They'll start playing the preseasons. Oh, exciting. That, that's what's going to happen. Bring it on. So. 
So, yeah, the football's coming back, and as such, we will be talking about it here and there on the yeah. broadcast. On the name. This is a sports show sometimes. Sometimes a sports show, sometimes. sometimes. Whatever Some, I make it. Sometimes it's, it's about it food. Is. Sometimes it's so, about sports. Yeah. So it's that's what they call the comedy show. <clears throat> it's always comedy. And it's always comedy. So uh, I, I, you can throw, I throw that all into it. Mm-hmm. So whatever I'm throwing into my broadcast, that's what it's going to be. It's a mix. It, yeah, that's the word. It's a all. mixture. It's an interesting mix. So, yeah, we like to be eclectic here. We I like mean, a little uh, bit of everything. Yeah. We're just trying to break through, Uncle. We're trying to break through on the online media scene. We're trying right, to right, be right. Uh, visible. We're trying to get engagement. We're trying to get views. We're trying to get likes. We're, we're trying to get people that understand actually my podcast. Is what we're trying to do. <laughs> that's the elusive and thing. That's the main thing. What are you laughing at, psychic? Well, I'm yeah. trying to talk and you're yapping over here. <laughs> See, he's even laughing on my podcast in here. If we find somebody who truly, if somebody truly understands this show, yeah, they deserve. I don't know what, but some kind of prize of some kind. If Chuck, you understand the show, Chuck, what do we got? Anything in which we can do something? Uh, what do you want? Prizes? Uh, what could we kick out? What could we kick out? Well, yeah, I yeah, don't yeah, know, because yeah. you guys ain't making anything. You're not making nothing. Uh, you're, you're talking about you're talking about the merch, Uncle. The I, merch stuff. You're, you're upset that we don't have new merch. I got all kinds of stuff. stuff. I got all I'm kinds trying of to talk to this man here, so I kick here. Well, he don't got nothing. I, I Well, we have Uncle the Podcast t-shirts. Well, that's it. But that's all. <laughs> nothing else. We're going to have more. Well, Uncle, this... well, I gotta give some to Chuck. Chuck is pushing. He is. He He's is. doing more work than you are. <laughs> maybe. Yes, Probably. not no maybe. Okay. He's pushing it out. Okay, definitely. Like a like <laughs> a nice looking T shirt. Like a nice looking some other stuff. Or whatever it was. Hats. Hats and other things. But um, what are you doing? Um. T shirts. I don't see nothing. <laughs> and I'm still yelling about the drop classes. No, nope, not here yet. Uh, uh, we've got some Here I go in and start my roundup. We, we've got some engagement in the chat here. We've in got chat. Sally Doll X 13 x Where's Samus Davis? She's asking. And then also, he wants Uncle the Podcast Pop Sockets. What the heck are those? That's a product you suggested, Uncle? I don't know. I don't remember. See? You don't even know. I don't know what a pop socket is. Yeah, what do you know, Chuck? You know about that? No, I don't. I don't know what a pop socket is. No, I don't. <laughs> well, whatever it is, I'm working on it, and it's coming. You're working on it. It's, what the heck are you working it's on? It's in the pipeline. Uh, we got right. big things going on. Here. All right. Big I hear, I hear that, but I don't see it on the line show. <laughs> we we have shows the likes of which have never been seen before. I know. Nothing okay. near. Like no one's ever seen. Before. I know. I know. For Chuck, though, is going to have me a T-shirt. One day it comes. One that day. I know it. I know he's going to come out with it. Oh no! I got, uh, yeah, I got a t-shirt coming, coming for you. Or I, what? Yeah, I got I got a shirt coming for you. I got I got to wait for it to okay. show up. I told you. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But 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 this yeah. man, I don't see that. nothing. What the heck? You just the <laughs> well, just the regular t-shirts. Well, uh, uh, Sally Doll's saying that she made pop sockets up. So so we got that going. She for made right. All right. Oh, she made. Apparently, it's a made-up term on the fly. But that doesn't mean we can't make them. Is my attitude? I, I'm I, I got a can-do attitude, Uncle. Why? What's this can do? I say, if you can think of it. You can do it. Pop socket sounds like candy. Well, when, well, let's get moving then. If you can do it, like candy. But I don't see nothing moving. <laughs> Wait, you believe it? it. You can believe achieve it. it. Uh, I hear that. Okay. I can hear it, but I'm assume. Yeah, well, if I see my eyes, big up, and I see something, you got to see it in eyeball. You got to. You got to. In my standpoint, I yeah. got to see it in eyeball. And you do. I, As my meals. You see them when I make them. Yes. Example. Yes. That's showing you something. Okay. You see. I see. But the people have to see it on Instagram, of course. But, mm. but it's there. 
Oh, uh, wait, now, now Creative Accidents has an interesting insight at the Ocelli.com chat. He's saying, Uncle, I like your weather report on Instagram. Weather you need report. to talk to Be Prepared Frankie McDonald. You don't know who that is, do you, Uncle? Michael McDonald. It's a singer. <laughs> I Michael, that, McDonald. Michael McDonald, you're thinking about. <laughs> I remember his songs. Michael McDonald, yeah. Yeah, that's the one you're talking about? Uh, Instagram? This is uh, a different guy. This is Frankie McDonald. He's he's carved a little niche for himself on social media where he's an interesting guy that lives up in uh, Canada. Um oh. and he I think British Columbia he, and he um he does these weather videos. And he's an interesting guy. He does weather videos and he's he's created an audience for himself. And so he not unlike what we sort of hope to maybe do with our show, he's he's done it. So Maybe we should uh, reach out to him and see if he could be a guest on the show. He'd be a good guest on the show. Okay, Jim, call. Yeah. Frankie, Frankie McDonald. Yeah, uh, yeah. We'd love to have you on the show. So maybe I'll send out an email here soon. Send out an email. Mm-hmm. I heard you say that. There we go. Just okay. bring it out there, sing it out to him. What, what's his address? Uh, ding, I, ding, ding, ding. Yeah, I can find him on That Instagram should be that fast. Something. Okay, new information These on things are new things. New info on pop sockets. Uh, now we're being told pop sockets are the handles on the back of phones. I made up that Uncle wanted them. LOL. Oh, phones? Yeah. The yeah, back of back of a phone. Oh wait a minute. I'm also, I'm also, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You got this? Are those those ones? Oh, for a cell phone, those weird little handles. Wait, that the you things you stick on the back phone. of a cell but, phone sort of stand up. Are those things you talking like about? Now it is. I have a one, but my my zip thing came off because I lost the uh, glue off of it. Uh huh. Is that what you're talking about? I think that. I guess so. I guess we are. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, my wife has one. Yes, I believe so. And and uh, a lot of people have them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the one she's talking. I know what she's talking it's about. A little like yeah, it, yeah. it almost looks like a. Uh, I, I've. Um, <laughs> I have one. I have one, but I can't put it together because I don't have the glue. I have oh. a few of them. It's like a cabinet drawer. Port, How do you uh, get the glue on those with this lady? Hello? Uh, <laughs> well, this is all from the, the Twitch chat. That all right, Twitch chat. How do you get the glue from them? How do we get the glue? It's the man. Okay, it's okay, the okay they, they, they hear. They hear. They definitely hear the question. How do we get I'm the sure. glue? How do we get the glue for pop sockets? Pop sockets yes. to put some together because I have I have one that I have. It needs to be repaired. Got to be repaired. It might take a minute to get my phone. Yeah, it uh-huh. might take a minute to for them to hear it on Twitch. I'm not sure if there's a little delay between you and Twitch. I don't know. Uh, oh, like wow. I know there's a minor delay on Ocelli.com. Like it's a little behind, but not uh, by much. I assume if they can. She's saying, I got you, Uncle. There you so, go. I guess she's thinking of the question, so uh, right. have a answer. Because I, uh, I, um, uh, is there a way you can get some, or get some glue to fix it? Yeah, there's probably a way to repair it if you took a look at it. Either uh, that or, you know, you just get a new one. That's uh, a popular way to go with a lot mm-hmm. of stuff. Mm-hmm. Problem then, is, well, we'll see. Yeah. Now, it might be glueable. Were, yeah, I know it's it can be doable. I think it is. Just to put a little glue on it and pop it on. I, I have, have to take a look. Yeah, uh, I am. I can put it on it. I know the ones she's talking about. No, we know. Now, now I know we what know. she's talking because I had product. them in. Uh, I had them in Chapman. I bought a couple in Chapman. You used That's to use them I, on your phone. I had them on my phone. I know what you're saying. You found it useful. Yeah, to have that on your phone. It is. It is. <laughs> Okay. But it has to stay there for a while. That's the trick. When it's glued, that's the part. Once it come off. Once it comes off, trouble. You can't get back on. That's what I'm asking. If she knows how. She's saying a new one would be best. So she's going with that answer. Is that it's difficult to repair, easier to replace. So it goes, Uncle. In this oh, planned and, obsolescence. And they got those economy. in. In what places? 
I've seen them around in all sorts of different places. Uh, dollar stores? The, the phone stores must have them. Probably phone truck store. stop would truck have them. Store. Maybe souvenir shops have them branded with whatever the souvenir shop is. Weird little... I mean, you might find one at a Ross Dress for Less because they have weird stuff in there. You know, you find it anywhere, I would think. Even drift store. A drift store you might roll up on it. You oh, never know what no. you're going to get it there. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, uh, it definitely could be. We might have to check. <clears throat> yeah. You can get ones that slide on and off and are magnetized. I'd rather have them slide on and off instead of you can't. Glue. That's what this says. It says you can get ones that slide on and off and oh, are you magnetized. Can. That's that's what she just said. Yeah. Oh, oh. Well, let's see if we can look for that kind then. There you go. Because that's the kind I'd use more than I would for the glue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's right. see here. The current view count on Cheese the Cheese with Uncle is up to 1.9K views. That's not too bad for being the first day. That's all I'm saying. Going back to that again. I can't help myself. That's the uh, one I made today, Chuck. That's, yeah. So not bad. Um, we shall see. It's just another Sunday night on com. That's all we're doing. We're just here talking. Yeah. We're talking. I don't know. We're, we've got our caller, Jimmy. He's yeah. on the line with us. We've got a pretty good engagement across the chat rooms, be it Twitch or the com chat room. A lot of action going on there. We got an audience, Uncle. Yeah, there's a few people listening. They're here. They're there. But where's... Oh, um... Squirrel Man. I um, heard he was in the chat room, but I haven't heard him talking. Yes. Yes, he was earlier. I think he still is the in the Ocelli chat. He was. Not entirely sure if he's still there, but he was earlier tonight. Mm, Pop Talk okay. your show. Yeah, yeah. He was there during my show. I mean, yeah. I didn't want to go to the comedy show. Mm-hmm. That's his one. Yes, indeed. You, too, could join the chat at Ocelli.com, or you could watch this live stream, Uncle the Podcast live streamed on YouTube, on Twitch, on Twitter or X or wherever they call it, Uncle's account there, and even Telegram if you can find the weird little uh, corner of Telegram. Did anybody on. notice my new glasses on? You, yeah, wearing? we're not here. We're on the show. You're wearing new glasses? Yes, hello. We're on the show. Uh-oh. Oh, is that? The oh, thing? no. What is this now? Oh, that's the thing. I oh, that's the thing. Delayed. Okay, let's show oh, this. Oh, that's just this. No, we're getting. The thing. This is, what is this thing called? A pop what? Pop socket. Pop socket. Pop this socket. Is. This is what, to, but this is, is this glued? No, this one is the sliding one. Oh, the oh, sliding one. this is where it sliding. This is what they're talking. She this was talking is, about. I don't know. If, that way. It's kind it's, of hard to do, but yeah. How does it pop off? I don't know off? if I'm competent <laughs> enough to do it. Whoa, it's like a hall of mirrors. I'm looking at myself on the phone here. Oh. Tripping me out, man. <laughs> oh, it's one my of them. brain's ready to handle that. <laughs> Aha. Oh. Slide all the way off. Look. We're getting a I like one. Oh, here it is. Those things. Here it is. So just imagine this. Oh. But the graphic says Uncle the Podcast. Yeah, I like those ones like that instead of the glue. Yeah. I have those one. I have the one, but I have the glue. Okay. I was wondering if we can make pops, those. And there's like the pop them. part. It pops up and down. I wonder if we can make a uh, pop. Can buy that. Peace. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sir. We might be able to find those somewhere yeah, and maybe. get them branded. And then and then I can take it off of the glue. It's mm-hmm. uh, an idea. Well, it it gave me something idea. to think about. Um, okay. She comes out with these things. It's food for thought is what we just ate. Yeah. Food for thought. <clears throat> it's like a dessert after dinner sort of thing. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there's, okay, I do see Ed in the chat room. He is there. He's talking what about you... Uncle Ling's, no less. Oh, what? Mm-hmm. Uncle Wings. I guess that's. that's I'm not saying nothing about Uncle Wings. <laughs> what the heck's he at? Talking a, about his school too. His school's too much. It's either an appetizer or somebody who listens to this show. I can't tell which that is, but uh, it sounds like it could be either one of those things. Yeah. Uncle Ling. Uh, so yeah. Well, there we are on a quiet type. Um, way down phone calls. Well, we have right, Jimmy. I know, Jimmy. We got Jimmy. So. Uh, how are we doing over there, Jimmy? How are we doing over How's there, How's everything Jimmy? going for you? 
Oh, doing good here. Pretty good. Mm. Um, Jimmy's maintaining, Uncle. Oh. Yeah. What's that? Now, that, that Canadian air's been awful rough on me. I wish that Canadian Robin would call in. He's got some explaining to do. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm waiting for. I got to listen to him now. I, I got to have to see What's that? His, his, the premier of Canada is divorcing his wife. Oh, mm. yes. That's Holding right. his wife? He's divorcing his wife. Oh, who is? Divorcing his wife. Who is? Uh, Justin Trudeau. Yeah, Trudeau. Trudeau is I didn't, I didn't having a divorce? That. I didn't know. I didn't hear about this, but well, I guess so. When did this happen? Yeah, pretty recently. I mean, last few days. Something he doesn't, something she don't like? Probably. There's, Whatever he's doing. There's, Probably. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine. We need Robin. Uh, yeah, we Robin. Robin. Get on Robin. that phone, Robin. I know he's on here. I know he can call us. He's got the answers. He has. Come on, answer. Robin. Give me a call. I'm waiting on your call. <clears throat> Always a good night when Robin calls in. Because you uh, have to see what's going on in that country. side of the country. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's the same continent, right? Yeah, yeah. Same continent. Same kind of North America. North we're America. All part of the North American community here. We need to be good neighbors and keep up with each other and know That's what's what going I'm on. Trying to do. Yeah. That's all. That's I'm, it. I'm <laughs> sure that if you keep uh, shaking him, you crave to give him one. I know he'd give you a call. He would. He has. He would. Yeah. He will in the future at some point. I don't know when that'll be, but I'm looking yeah. forward to it. I can't wait till the next time. Man, yeah. it's gonna be great. Well, we're just living our best life here on Uncle the Broadcast, aren't we, Uncle? Yeah. We're doing what we're we just can. doing for what I'm doing tonight, chatting to ourselves. Mm-hmm. Until we have phones ringing off, this, off the uh, ball on Chuck's side. <clears throat> Indeed. Not bad. I have my nice open glasses. You like those? We're ta- Wait, okay, yeah, you mentioned the glasses earlier. Do you no, mean- I didn't hear. On your thing. It's on the computer? Is it part of the graphics? For yes, time? yes. Glasses. It's one of these things down here? Oh, this could take a while. Um, <laughs> glasses, huh? My glasses. That you wear? Sunglasses. Sun, oh, oh, okay. I, oh, oh, oh. Uh, now the- I follow you. Okay, so this, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay. I like that. So the, th- them, people? the thumbnail to one of these short videos we've been talking about yeah, right. features Uncle wearing his sunglasses. And, yeah, I think the thumbnail itself is kind of captivating and has garnered a few views in and of itself. Yeah. That's the angry uncle at soccer video. Soccer is- video. That's one where I was uh, arguing over something. That I don't know what it was. Well. Yeah, I don't know how. My people kept on looking at that. And, mm-hmm. Boy, that went pretty well. Mm-hmm. What are you arguing about? We're on to something, Uncle. Um, I we, don't know what the... We need I to, think it's these people that are looking at these crazy things and they are. just want to look at them. They are. I, yeah. Now, there's all sorts of videos that these YouTubers make. We could go about emulating their uh, formats, Uncle, and I'm sure it, it might do us some good to do that. And some of the videos aren't doing. really going to be doable, like survive... Two weeks in uh, Antarctica or whatever Mr. Beast happens to be doing. I don't think that's really our style. Oh. And we don't want to be ripping off anybody like that. But uh, at the same time, we could do those like reaction videos where we watch weird videos we collect online and then we react to them. I think would be a good format. Has to, Uncle, uh, has we can do that. Does Uncle know yeah. Mr. Beast? Have you seen the Mr. Beast videos, Uncle, at all? No. No? He no. gives away tons of money. You ever see the yes. crazy money video? He gives away, shows up, oh, uh, I'll let you spend $50,000 right now. And people don't believe him. And he does. He lets him spend $50,000. Like, yeah. he just shows up. The only more. ones I saw that had the suitcase, the guy that was a wrestler. 
I, well, I was watching a bunch of Mr. And, Beast videos. But, but that's all about man with a, with money. I, I was watching a bunch of them this weekend with my son. He's, yeah. He watches them a lot. See, my son brought them to me, too, and he's like, you got to see this. I said, oh, come on. Because he's saying, oh, no, this guy gives away millions of dollars. I mm-hmm. said, who in the hell is going to be on YouTube giving away millions of dollars? He said, oh, no, you got to see it. And I watched and. Lo and behold, the guy does. Yeah, he, he just like walks in. Yeah, he walks into a Walmart and says, "Hey, pick out anything you want. If you can figure it out, if you can, he like gives him their, his credit card and and he's like, "Yeah, well, you know what? If you go over the limit, you won't get anything. But if you stay under the limit, and then people go nuts and shop." Mm-hmm. And right, you saw these, Aaron, didn't you? Oh yeah, I, I've seen many of his videos, and yeah, mm-hmm. he will on a whim just give somebody ten grand, like oh, yeah, do uh, do like just some mundane thing, and he gives you ten thousand dollars. Yeah, I want to know what mall I got to go to, because I mean, dude, <laughs> you know, I know, I know, he's giving people large sums of money. Yeah, too. I'm sure he's in a mall. But the way sure he went to a, a mall. He went the to question like a, is what yeah. you're saying, what mall? He went <laughs> to a crazy collector store, right? Did you see the collector one? The guy was grabbing like autograph stuff and like big old movie stand up movie props and all kinds of like crazy stuff at like some California uh-huh. mall. Yeah. And they must have had like eighty, ninety thousand dollars worth of stuff. They put up. Talk to you. No, we're, we're getting all sorts of interesting uh, stuff in the chat room. First of all, mm-hmm. Electric Daz is saying that the reaction videos he thinks would be very good if we did them. And I agree. I think the reaction video is a good format what's, for us to use, Uncle. What's the Greenwich? Like what he's saying? Um, it's basically – so Mr. Beast does this too. He's got like his regular like co-host guys that show up. And one of those guys, him and Mr. Beast – Watch various videos. They collect all these videos that they find online. It's like, you know, and usually they're themed like, let's watch satisfying videos. So they'll watch like somebody painting a wall or whatever. Then they'll watch another video of, you know, paint being peeled or whatever. Satisfying videos. Right? Okay, let's work hmm. on that then. Um, I can see that being good with your reactions being interesting. Well, and another engaging. good one, which might be really good for Uncle, is if you can find him music or stuff he's never heard before or never seen before, mm-hmm. uh, like the music i like the music reaction ones where they're like hey this is what happens when you play uh you know slayer's raining blood for a five-year-old yes yes exactly and it's pretty yeah. funny um th- those i mean i know it's a total waste of time but <laughs> it's just like it, it, some of the stuff that happens on there is pretty hilarious when when you like we're gonna do this for the first time this person's ever gonna hear this you know yeah. and they, they play metal or they play him something weird uh you know like hey this is a song from the 80s and they go mm. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I, I think that would be a good format to use of us doing that, Uncle. I think that would work. Okay. Yeah. Sign this coming, this coming weekend. Oh, whoa. Let's get started on it. Okay. Not now. We'll do it soon. Do it soon when you have the time. Because, yeah, I know this week and is. We've now. got another request, Uncle. People are saying they want a cactus taste test. Where like we, this? Yeah, that way, I, that's your, that's your, uh, f- they're talking about it's your, my specialty, Uncle. your specialty out there yes. in, the, in the backyard. That's right. We could, uh, take oh, a portion of wait a Wait a minute, wait a time. minute. <laughs> How about the, um, the, the, uh, the, the ones you're making with, um, to look at. Well, well, yeah. I, those. The different landscapes. I mean, those are nice even to have on us. I would say that it's, they might get something out of that. I, I got don't a combo. Get them out of that. It occurs to me a crazy combo idea, Aaron. You ready for this yeah. one? Okay, so Uncle puts together one of his dishes, whatever they may be. And then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say it that way. You get somebody with a reaction to the dish. So now you got to come and do a taste test. I don't know if you should do it with the kids or if you should do it with, uh, uh, you know, a neighbor. Like, find somebody who can then do a taste test with Uncle's food. Yeah, it could be like Uncle's dinner party or something. You invite people over and then Uncle cooks and you have to eat whatever he, he sets out for you. And then you have a reaction. That's okay, Uncle. Not a bad idea. Food, right? I know who I can start it with, though. Your son. He, yeah. I, I gave it to him. He'll eat it. It will be. Oh, yeah, I'm pulling this mark. <laughs> Try this food. Try this food. So you're going to force me. Uh, well, that's how you have to do it with them. Okay. I know you have to do that <laughs> some way. Yeah, that might be a hard sell, I'm thinking. With but, uh, uh, I mean, that's why I work, I work if, on him. 
you have to find ways to encourage the guests to eat your food. And that's where Mr. Beast would be handy to have. Be like, I'll give you $12,000 if you eat Uncle's sandwich. Like, I don't know if we're going to be able to pull that off, but we have to come up with an equivalent uh, persuasive argument for the person to get him to do it, I guess. Oh. Not well, $10,000 yeah. persuasive, but something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you, you, you could do a lot with Mr. Beast money, okay? But I don't got Mr. Beast money, neither do you. I don't think Uncle does. So, you know, what, what are we going to do? Hey, look, man, I got 10 bucks for you. Come on. You know, 10 bucks. Walk up to somebody on the street. Hey, excuse me, excuse me. Would you eat this for 10 bucks? Um, You could try that. We could. It might work. Yeah. <laughs> Enough to work. Yeah, the reaction videos would be good. We may do those. Um, the cactus video I like actually a lot. And that's a good example of something that I would do if we were doing more of, if we got to a point where we had an audience, I knew that we were gonna, if we get to the point that we'd like to be, I, we'd start making videos like that. I would eat the cactus with uncle and it would be this. Yes, I think that would turn out to be an interesting video, Uncle. The only we, problem is it'd be pointy. Yeah, well, we'd we'd take the spines off before we eat it, and we'd eat the inside of it, and it'd be fine. It's very soft. Oh, good uh, point. What? Well, we have a very good point. What could be a very successful video segment? What's what that? you guys should do is take that food and and get two hungry bums and let them fight it out for who gets to eat it. Uh, like bum fights the video. Is that what we're talking about? That, that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I'm pretty sure everybody got their bum fight videos banned. Pretty much. That's yeah, all yeah, gone. I know. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. I think. I think Jimmy. That that that's the kind of thing that gets uh, people knocking. And, and especially now, the feds will come knocking on your door. You try and post that on YouTube anymore. Uh, I, I read true. something about that a couple of years ago from the old successful because that was a big thing on VHS and and yes. uh, early DVD was, was. Uh, the bum fight series. And yeah, those guys got in trouble for sure. I can't remember what exactly ha- happened, but uh, well, they got they in a lot were, of trouble. Yeah, did they? Did, do you remember what the charges were on that, Chuck? It, they they hit them with so much different stuff. It pretty much shut them down because they had a huge successful mail order business, and it yes, got yes. squashed by uh, by all sorts of. They had local state charges, everything. But nowadays, I, I read something about uh, somebody trying to resurrect that idea not too long ago, and I know for sure you can't tr- try and pull that on YouTube. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, you 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 know, but. There might be a way to do it. Like I said, if you if you're on the street though and you offer somebody money, yeah. that's a different thing. Where it's like if you offer them money not to you know not to fight because then you're encouraging a what was it like encouraging yeah. a violent act or whatever because yes yes. You know, but if yeah, you're no, just, I uh, the, the bum fights thing. I don't want to be emulating bum fights. Like I I think if I took anything from those videos, it'd be just the talking to the homeless. I think can be a good thing for video, but I wouldn't want to do the bum fights variety of it. Well, they they went crazy. They they went out there with that guy, like the crocodile hunter, for a little bit, and they had bum hunter. Remember? Yes, I think I remember that bit. Yeah, I have seen the videos. Yeah, yeah. They were just like pulling up people out of nowhere. They were pulling them up while they were sleeping and tying them up and all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. They got they got out of hand Mm -hmm. with those videos for sure. Yeah, so, anyway, yeah, no, no, I would not suggest the bum fight thing, but, I mean, going on the street somewhere in a public space, so long as you are not, you know, so long as, like, businesses don't start calling the cops on you to chase you away or whatever. Oh, you know what? This brings up an interesting point. Just the other day, a Twitch streamer put out some sort of message on social media saying, hey, come down to this park in New York City. I forget which one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be there giving out PlayStations, I think is what he said. And then a bunch of kids showed up and there ended up being a riot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, The riot police came in and now that guy, that Twitch streamer has got charges on him because of inciting a riot. He didn't take the proper precautions to create security or anything, and he created like a flash mob that just sort of showed up and, yeah, just went crazy out of control, and they started fighting with the cops and everything. It was was a madness because he was giving away – he was. He was giving away either PlayStations or Xboxes or something. Yep. And, uh, yeah, and just people went nuts. So Well, anybody going nuts with them, hey, I can put it in my machine. 
Yeah. Well, it's it's a good cautionary um, tale, Uncle. I mean, we're talking all these like goals. Nah, we have I would go and, that far though. You, you can't. Not 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 that far. You can't. And, I not go that far. And and you gotta be careful not to. That's that's what we're saying. So we can we can do these videos like, well, let's eat a cactus and make a video, and um, we just have to keep in the back of our mind, Uncle, is like, well, how far is too far? Don't do that. Keep it simple. Don't go too crazy. I only do simple stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like a like a menu stuff, a uh, sandwich like I've been doing here. Mm-hmm. That simple stuff. Correct. I mean, but if you do it. More than that, you're looking for trouble. Yes, exactly. We don't want to do that. That's all I I mean, that, 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 that. Yeah. Now there's, there's, um, it's, it's an odd time because it's, it's got, I feel like we've really got to this point where these streamers and internet celebrities and, and influencers, whatever, are at this point where they're doing these wild things. And it's sort of either on the precipice where this sort of thing was going to start happening. Apparently, it is now. And I don't want to get it over, over populated. No, I mean no. he want you want to do a podcast, but not to have it like you're saying. We just want to chase over the doing. Yeah, I overdoing. Wanna... I don't want to overdo no. Yeah, you can't have ten thousand people show up and you got no way to direct traffic. I mean, that's a, that's a yeah, problem. That, that, that's a tip. You know, you well, got about ten minutes do... left, just so you know, because uh, you're gonna go six over the hour, and we're already at fifty six. So you got about ten minutes left. Okay. Well, Very good. That's pretty yeah, good. We're not all right here. Okay. Right. Fine. Though, um, six minutes. Um, we sure know now. Not many callers, only Jimmy. We know. And I guess that last week didn't wasn't very good. Mm-hmm. Got a better cut back on my talking. Cut I back haven't been talk. talking much tonight. Oh, well, do, do you want to say a couple more words? Because of because of what I said last week was not that good. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? I wanted to mention a couple of things. Well, now you want a couple of things. Uh, well, first of all, I want to correct something. I, I mentioned that the Orkney Islands were in Ireland. They are not. They're their own islands off the coast of Scotland. They're kind of affiliated with Scotland, but not really. I don't know. And then I also said that nobody mentioned Jamaica, Queens. Actually, your sister did. And then also I want to say oh. thank you to Carolyn, who gave us a pretty good donation and she said, she said, yeah, she gives a good donation. And she said, Uncle, I enjoy watching your videos and listening to your show. So there we go. We got a fan there. Clint. We must be doing something right. Carolyn oh. was very nice and gave us a really Carolyn. good donation. Carolyn. Carolyn. So thank you, Carolyn. Yeah, thank you, Carolyn. I almost forgot that. I wanted I to was the the show. I was wondering who that was. Yeah. Saying Carolyn. Now, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. She might be listening. Uh, apparently she is, and yeah, she said as much in the comment on the thing. But did did you want to mention something? I, I didn't mean to cut you off there, Uncle. Did you want to mention something like? Very nice to finally listening to me. Yeah, uh, that was nice. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's cool. Um, um and yes. <laughs> so what we've got here. It's a quiet night, of course. I can understand people not want to. It's a good opportunity to workshop ideas, Uncle. That's what we're doing. We're using the shop of trying to make more people listen. We are getting to that point. It seems they are listening. Yes, I gotta say they clearly are. They clearly are listening, Mm -hmm. especially to my menus. Yes, to my menus. Mm -hmm. You should. You read in a month to me. Oh, you got this money. See this cheese thing. See how many came off of the cheese thing. I mean, yeah, it's just a menu. It's almost 2,000 views right now. 2,000 we just, views. We just posted it today. So just for us, posted that's it, it one day and 200? You're asking pretty good for something like that. Might be the way to go, Uncle. I think so. So, you got to entice them to call in. You need more. You you need to intrigue them and get them to. You got plenty of listeners or viewers. 
Yeah. You just want more callers. So, yeah, and, and need more callers. So that's I, I, what, I, exactly what you're saying, Jimmy. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Don't, don't be more, afraid to call. Don't afraid to call the number. Number? The number is 319-527-5016. And that is the number to call every whenever, week. every week. If you want to call me, that's the number to call. Mm-hmm. So don't be scared. Yep. You can use Skype as well. Skype as well and talk into Chuck. You type a and message to Chuck, Chuck, he'll bring you on the he'll show. He'll bring you on the show. So Skype or the phone calls. Yeah. We love having you call in. I think that's what we're going to have to push more, the phone calls. Well, I've well, been doing the phone pushing them. But. The, the thing on the phone calls is interesting, too, is once you get to a level of a certain size of an audience, Oh, the phone do? calls flow in to such a degree that you got to keep like hanging up on them. This, this we is, do. This is why is that? People with larger audiences, that seems to be how it goes for them. Oh, our, our audience is good and it's great and it's a good size and it doesn't necessarily have to be. Then bigger. what is our size? That's talking I, about sizes, you know. Well, it, <laughs> no, if you, if you notice, like, what? on Revolution Night, right, or other nights where we got a lot of callers that come in, I do. I bring them in and out, in and out, because you, oh. you have to. Jimmy can just hang out with us, right, like he's been doing, because mm. there's not a lot of callers. But if there was more, yeah, you gotta you got to rotate them in and out, in and out. Right, right, right. Uh, when you get that's to a certain true. level, yeah. That that's the way it yeah. is, and that usually means you got a large live audience, uh, uh, which you know what none of us really, almost nobody's got a large live audience anymore, not a large one. So uh, how yours coming along, Chuck? My audience I mean, is only uh, the uh, you know not 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 much different than yours live most of the time. It's it's all about uh, the podcast after, you know, yeah, just like these uh, videos when you you're doing them live. Eh, there's a few people there, but then thousands of people will go get them later. You know what I mean? That's just uh, yeah, the way they it works. go back to them. They do. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Do. That's a good thing with a podcast. Well, yeah, that's what that's in, makes it makes it interesting. Say if, for example, a lot of people was gonna call, but eh, let's wait and see him put it on the app, put it on the show, and we'll get it back to him. And the following week, maybe they'll call. That may be how it works. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm telling you, I've listened to some shows that are like live radio shows slash podcasts. And certain people, usually if it's a celebrity doing a show, they can garner, garner an audience the size that when they start taking calls, the calls keep coming in. And the host tends to like talk to them for like a even like a few seconds, and then they just hang up on them. Then immediately they get another call, and they keep going like that for as long as they want, really. So it, it's that's that happens. Oh, yeah, uh, I've had a couple like that back in the past. I had a couple like that. We've gotten close. And, and then Chuck's in, oh, it's time, it's time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, money breaks, too. Mm-hmm. So, no, but I've had that. I know what you're talking it about. It sets up an entire different dynamic that we're not used to here. Yeah, yeah. Because you end up with like 10 people on the line. So right, right. you got to try and get them in, get them in, get them in. And right. uh, I'm having that problem on Friday nights. People are waiting a long time because we're talking too much. And other people are talking too long. And I can't get everybody. Uh, Jimmy could tell you he was on he was on hold for like uh, over an hour this past Friday on oh, my yeah, show. This past Friday. Yeah. Uh, oh, this past Friday. Yeah, Jimmy? Jimmy, you were on you were on hold like over an hour on Friday, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Me, Van Arke, a lot of people. Yeah, there was a couple people that were on hold for an hour because we couldn't get through the calls quick enough. See, that's the thing. You got to change the way that you deliver. If you start getting a whole lot of them lighting up, then you got to move them through quickly. And uh, I did a bad job of it this this week. I, I had I had at least two of them sitting there for over an hour. And uh did the best I could trying to get through. And I'm like, all right, all right, all right, all right, guys, move on, move on. And I just couldn't even get them, you know. So uh, it was yeah. uh, it was tough. But but usually that doesn't happen. We're happy to have one, two callers. You know, everybody's happy. But uh, yeah, when you get a when you get them lined up like that, you got to run them through as fast as you can. And then at the end of the show, there's some guys you didn't even get to. Yep. And no matter yeah, how fast you go. True. Well, that's why. I- push along like for I'm, I'm going to have a limit on my talking five minute talk to the new people and then if there's another one behind it it come back Chuck if another one behind it comes back 
I said, hold on. I got a call. I'm going to do less talk, more understanding okay. of the person who's on here. Well, see, here, here it is, Uncle. I'm set up for that already. The second somebody calls in, if I, I wait like a minute after they got on there, I make sure that they're going to stay on hold. And then I ring your phone. You hear it. So I'm set up. If we got a hundred callers, okay, at the beginning of the show, no problem. I will keep running them through to you, okay. But the I, thing I, is, I just was wondering about that. Yeah, it's dependent on if that. If I can get them doing, and just oh, wait, I got another call. Yeah. I got another call. Right. I'll, I'll get them. I'll that, get them all. That's what you so would like do. You said I'll pick you, them up. I'll pick them up all. But I, if I got this many, I'm not gonna let's say waste one. Right. Yeah, that's right. what I'm not. That's what I don't want to do. Yeah. If everybody but, wanted to call in all at once, no problem. I can handle that. Oh, but you know what the problem oh, yeah, was for yeah. me this past week on the Friday show is I'm trying to talk, and I'm trying to manage other people talking. And what I should have done is I should have put Harlan on hold quicker, and just okay, okay, good. You're done with your point. Put. I, I should have moved him along faster, and I wasn't used to doing it. But when I'm that's sitting here just being the is. producer. It's easier because I can just watch that phone line and I know how fast I can run them through. The problem oh, is, I see. Yes. When you do it your own, that's tough. That yeah. I see what you're talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you mean. Because I'm producing my show too. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. You're producing it and then you're doing it and then you're right. calling. Uh, yeah, yeah. I that's see that. Do, Uncle. Yeah, that is a lot. See, that's why you need another. That's why I need another guy to help me out with the production. Because the thing is, yeah, when need, I do your New you Year's Revolution, we get to everybody, right? Everybody yeah, gets yeah. on. And sometimes, boom, 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 right? We get everybody. Hey, through. See, uh, you're going to Texas. You're going to Texas soon, right? In November, yeah. Find out if you can find not an ass or ass. Can you... Can you Anyways, give me a hand on my producing side. <laughs> Just to say. Find your producer down there. Uh, the producer guy. they got to be in there in yeah, Dallas. Somewhere. somewhere in there. Just to mention it. Well, I'll Just put, mention it. I'll put oh, it out like this. If somebody is listening to the Uncle Show right now and wants to help out with production on Ocelli.com, I, I won't hand you Aaron and Uncle Show right away because I handle that. And I don't want to trust nobody else with it until they know exactly what they're doing. But I'll teach you how to produce using my show. If you want, yeah, yeah, I'll teach somebody how to produce. If Say you want that. to learn how to do this. And you could be the uh, the other producer and we could mix things up. It would be great. I would love it. We yeah. could do more shows yeah. faster. That's everything. what you need. Mm -hmm. I see what you need. Yeah. So if you can hit that down, say that. So let's see what happens. You said that. See what happens the next week. Exactly. Info at Ocelli dot com. Write to me there, and I will I will set you up. I'll show you how to do it. All of that. If if you want to learn, I'll teach you. I can't pay you, but I can teach you. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. you know, hey, if things start to work out toward the end of the year, who knows? Maybe we can all start to get a little something out of it too. But yeah. I, I can't offer that right this minute. First thing I got to yeah. do is pay the guys doing the shows. Then after that, yeah. if we can figure out a way to make everybody a little bit of money, that would be wonderful. But it's not about yeah. the money. If you want to learn how to do this, and I can show you how to run the phones and the uh, broadcast and all that. It's uh, it's very, very helpful, and you, you can take that skill and do your own thing. Make your own radio station after that if you want. But, uh, you know, hey, help me out for a little while. There you go. Yeah. There we go. Well, that worked out. That was a good, uh, uh, was a good offer uh, thrown yeah. out there for uh, possibly somebody who could help Even out with the Ocelli Radio Network. And I bet you son wouldn't mind doing it. Yeah. Not I just to say. Not. Just to say. And that's, I mean, this goes back to the point of why we're making cheese videos, Uncle. Yeah, going right back to uh, my menu. We're trying. I'm going to my menus. I call it my menus, not cheese menu. Okay, sorry. My menus. That's why we're doing Uncle's Mention menus. my menus. Okay. That's how you say it. Okay. Not, we're not doing cheese videos, okay? We're working on Uncle's menus. Yeah. And we're doing a lot of it. Yeah. And by George, I think we're on to something. How about we're on to something. So, Gosh, you even got, got his wife into doing the I did. calling out. I did. And she calling. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me get my phone. And you know how that goes. So if you want to watch these videos, it's at Uncle Podcast on Instagram mainly, but also actually YouTube. It's at Uncle Podcast now and Twitter. 
that or X or whatever in the world it is. And we're UncleThePodcast.com. We're at the end of the show for this week, Uncle. Okay, Jimmy. Yo up. Okay, shout out for Jimmy. Shout out to Jimmy. Jimmy, you got a shout out? Yeah, shout out. Oh, yeah. Shout out to you guys and Chuck and everyone that can donate and support the network and have a good weekend. Or actually, I guess the weekend's over. Have a good oh. weekend. Wait, wait, wait. Take care, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. Uncle, did you want to shout out? Shout out to who's ever listening, I should say, out there to understand my menus and keep on listening and watching. I mean, yep. who's that screaming? Uh, somebody. uh, somebody screaming. Yeah, thanks, <laughs> thanks everybody for listening tonight. Everybody in the chat room, great to have Roger. you again at the podcast. That must have been the chat, man. Carolyn, thanks again for oh, the yeah. generous Thank donation. You. We really appreciate it. Uh, Uncle, why don't you bring us home for the week? There's a 300 and fifth episode. Bye bye.